This tutorial is to show how to add facility information to the report printout and review all report settings. To access the report settings, select the hamburger menu in the top left corner. Select Settings and then Report. Enter in the facility information in the fields provided. To add a logo, there are three options to choose from. All will be reviewed for you to select your preferred method. Option 1 is to email the logo to the email account already set up on the tablet. Go to the email app to open the attachment. Select the ellipse in the top right corner and select Save. Go to the report settings and select the Add Image icon. This will take you to the download folder to select the logo file and import into the report settings. Option two is to use a USB-C flash drive to save the logo file from the PC. Connect the USB-C flash drive to the Android tablet. Go to the report settings and select the add image icon. Select the hamburger menu from this screen. The connected USB-C flash drive is listed for your selection and importing of the file. Option 3 is by connecting the supplied USB cord to the computer and tablet. This is only available for Windows-based PCs. The tablet must be prepared for file transfer. To do this, pull the menu down from the top with a hold and slide motion. The Android Quick Settings menu will display. Locate the setting charging this device via USB, tap for more options. Once opened, no data transfer will be selected. Select File Transfer, then select Back. Next, from the PC, copy your logo file to the download file of the Lenovo tablet. Go to this PC section and locate the Lenovo Tab M10HD. Open the internal shared storage, Select the download folder and save the logo here. Now return to the tablet and select the add image icon. This will take you to the download folder to select the logo file and import it into the report settings. If the download folder is not automatically open when you select the add image, select the hamburger menu and select downloads. Proceed with the previous mentioned steps. Other report settings for review include Page size. This is to make the selection according to your default paper size. And miscellaneous information. This list includes optional information that will be displayed on the PDF reports. The selections are defaulted on, but for any information item you do not want to have printed, deselect. Options include the product name, calibration date of the audiometer, screener name when activated and selected within the start screen, serial number of the device, notes where entered notes in the review screen will be printed, and signature, which includes a signature line for manually signing the form. The PDF will display the facility and logo at the top of the PDF and the miscellaneous information at the bottom based on the report settings. This completes the tutorial on report settings and how to add facility information. Please continue through the tutorial series for additional EasyTone instruction.